welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In today's video, we will talk about basics of a programming language. If you talk about a spoken language like English, Hindi, French, there is a set of predefined rules to write correct sentences and communicate properly. Similarly, in programming languages, there are certain rules and components which are used to communicate with the application running your program. Today, we will talk about some of these components or building blocks of a programming language, which are variables, data types, operators, and expressions. Let's start with variables. You can think of variables as a way to store some data for later use, or in another words, think of them as containers which hold whatever data you put inside them. For example, say you have three numbers and you want to add and print them on screen. Uh, let's say you have three, five, and seven, and you want to add all these and print them on the screen. In English, you can simply write three plus five plus seven, and the result would be 15. But in JavaScript, first you will have to store them in variables, and then store the result in another variable and print it on a screen. As I mentioned earlier, variables are like containers. You can hold any value in a container. Say you have different set of numbers now, so you can store those in the same variables by replacing the old values. All right, so let's try creating a variable in JavaScript. So var num1, let's say two. So let me explain you what this statement means. This num1 is the variable name. It is used to access the value stored in the variable. Uh, this word var is used to tell JavaScript to create a variable by the name num1. This equal to sign is used to store the value two in the variable num1. Similarly, let's create it for second and third number. So var to tell JavaScript that we want to create a variable, variable name num2, and let's give it a value, say, 4. Similarly, let's add the third one. So var, variable name num3, and the value 6. Now to add them, we can simply do num1 plus num2 plus num3. Uh, this plus sign is an operator which is used to add two values. Similarly, this equal to sign is an operator which is used to uh, assign some value to a variable. Basically, operators are symbols used to perform some actions on variables. In this case, we are using the plus symbols to add values of all three variables. JavaScript supports many operators like plus, minus, multiply, divide, comparison, etc. We will learn all about operators in the coming videos. So far, we've created variables, we've assigned some values, we've uh, summed it up, but we haven't printed it on the screen. So one way is we can directly print it on screen using a method provided by JavaScript, or we can store it in a variable and use that variable to print. So let's create a new variable, say var sum. Okay, so now let me explain what's happening here. So JavaScript starts executing the code. In the first line, it creates a variable num1, gives it a value two. In the second line, it creates another variable, gives it a value four. In the third line, it creates another variable num3 and gives it a value six. Then it comes to the script line. So what it does is it executes this part of the statement first. So it sums, so it adds all the values in the variable. So two plus four plus six, so which gives us 12. And it takes that value and stores in this sum variable. All right. So this line, this fifth line, or this first, second, third line, these are all called expressions. So expression is a line of code which contains a valid combination of variables, values, and operators. So line number five is an expression, line number one is an expression, line number two is an expression, line number three is an expression. All right. So if you see in this line number five, we've got some variables and some operators. So all these combine and they give you an expression. Okay, so moving on to the last step, now we want to print this in, on the screen. So to print something on the screen, JavaScript gives us a method called console log. So whatever you pass here in between these parentheses is printed 
in the console screen. So if we pass 100 here, it prints 100 on the console screen. If we pass a variable, it prints the value of the variable. Similarly, if we pass sum here, it prints the value of that variable, which is 12. Also, all these previous values are also being printed. So to clear that, before your code runs, we can do console clear. So every time the code is run, first it clears the console and then it prints the next values. So let's save it. All right, so as you can see, we've got the value of sum printed in the console. So as I mentioned earlier, variables are just a container with source values. So if you change these values, say instead of two, let's say five, 10 and 15. So again, it executes the entire program from the line one. It adds all these uh, values from the variables. So 10 plus five plus 15, which is 30. And then it prints that value in the console. So if you can see here, we've got 30 printed. All right. Now what we stored in the variable was numbers. Similarly, we can store some words. Let's try an example. So let's just comment this. Let's say var first name cafe. And in the log, let's just print the first name. And as you can see, we've got this word cafe printed in the console screen. Also, if you notice, I have wrapped the word in double quotes. So that's the way to tell JavaScript that this value is a string. We can also wrap it in single quotes. So instead of double quotes, we can wrap it in single quotes. Even then we get the same value in the console, but you cannot mix and match. We cannot have a double quotes and single quotes or opening single quotes and closing double quotes. So anything that comes in between these quotes is treated as a string. So now you've heard me say numbers, strings. So what are these? These are called data types uh, because it tells JavaScript what type of value we have stored in our variables. JavaScript also has few other data types like Boolean, arrays, objects, etc. And we will talk about those in the coming videos. I hope this gave you a better understanding of variables, expressions, and operators. If you have any doubt or queries, feel free to drop a comment below and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.